A hefty fine issued on the Bahamas Telecommunications Company. The Utilities Regulation and Competition Authority has found that BTC violated two sections of the Communications Act and therefore fined close to a quarter of a million dollars. The order stems from a complaint filed by the Systems Resource Group, a subsidiary of the Cable Bahamas Group of Companies that's responsible for the distribution of indigo calling cards. SRG alleges that BTC engaged in business practices that breached two sections of the Communications Act. ERCA CEO Kathleen Smith says ERCA closely monitors all licensees in the sector and that this complaint has been taken very seriously. In brief, the particulars of the complaint are that A. SRG had approached several wholesale businesses with a view to them displaying and selling SRG's indigo calling card. B. The wholesale businesses advised SRG that they had executed exclusive supply agreements with BTC, prohibiting them from selling the SRG calling cards. The SRG group claimed it's been unable to distribute cards through wholesalers since March 2013 because of the exclusive agreement that BTC had signed. The order issued today requires BTC submit to a list of requirements that concludes with the payment of a fine to IRCA amounting to $243,442.76. IRCA Director Stephen Bureau. The purpose of the fine was to ensure that conduct of this sort, which is harmful to competition um, isn't isn't repeated or doesn't doesn't take place in the market so it's intended obviously to remove the incentive for for engaging for operators to engage in anti-competitive behavior when asked if he was aware of the order BTC CEO Leon Williams issued this response to reporters I would wait until um, I sit down with the regulatory team the legal staff at BTC to make a comment a formal comment on, on the IRCA um, fines for today. But I am quite aware of, of, of the fines, yes. The fine must be paid within 30 calendar days from the issuance of the order. For JCN News, I'm Renee Ellis.